with players from one country. This will help your team build chemistry. Select a nation and let's get going. As this video gets started, I want to let you know I have absolutely zero knowledge on this game and the sport in general. So I know no players. I know I don't know how to play this game. <laughs> I don't know the good teams. I don't know almost anything. The only reason I chose France is because I watched them in the World Cup and they won. I don't even know the name of this guy. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. I don't know if he's a good player or not. Because I'm an NBA guy. Since NBA Live 20 got cancelled, I decided to start Ultimate Team on FIFA. I've always wanted to learn this sport, so I felt like this would be a good opportunity. Since NBA Live 20 got cancelled, I still wanted to do an Ultimate Team of some sort. So I decided to do it on FIFA. I wanted to learn the game of soccer or football, uh, depending on how you guys call it. So I have absolutely no knowledge. I don't know any of these players. I'm from Canada, okay? <laughs> I'm just a Canadian guy trying to learn the game. As you can see, I don't have any British accent or anything. I'm not a hardcore fan. So you guys can roast me if you want. But at the end of the day, I just want to learn the game as much as possible. So if you guys can provide me some tips on what to do on which players to use and how to place them. And honestly, I got so lost here. I had no idea what I was doing. This felt like I was trying to solve a Rubik's Cube or something. And for the lone players, I had no idea as well. I don't know who's good, who's not good. I don't even know what these stats mean. The only one I know is DRI, which means dribbling, which is like basketball, dribble. I guess that's how they can handle the ball. But besides that, I don't know any of the other stats that's in here. And I was just looking for a French player. Because from what I have saw in another video, you know, if you have the same players from the same nation, you have better chemistry. And that helps a lot. So I was just trying to get a French player from the loan. So I just kept backing out and looking for a French guy and I finally found one. His name is Pogba. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, so you can roast me if you want. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, I just want to learn the game. Learn the sport. Like I said, I have no knowledge. I don't know anyone. And when it came time to picking a jersey, I didn't like any of these jerseys. I felt like a walking candy, a walking uh, Starburst or Jolly Rancher. <laughs> Look at all these colors, man. I also felt like a referee. You see all them stripes on these jerseys? I didn't like any of them. But at the end of the day, I just showed this one. Looked like Sunny Delight. And then, uh, look at that. Why would you pick that? It looks like a referee. I don't want to be a ref on the court. On the field. My bad. I keep saying court because that's basketball. I chose this one. Purple looks the most simple. I want simple jerseys. I don't want all these colors and highlights and stripes. And for the badge, I had no idea as well. I just chose whatever. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't know anything about this game. I probably messed up the lineups. I probably messed up a lot of things. So this is what I chose. And if this video does well, I'm going to continue the series. If it doesn't, then, uh, then it doesn't. <laughs> and one of the reasons I got FIFA is because it was on sale. So the Ultimate Edition was on sale. And it's only, I think, $15 or $20 more than the regular. And you get a lot of more packs. So that's not too much, to be honest. Because the normal FIFA was at regular price. Why buy regular price when you could get a better deal at a lower price? Well, almost similar price. And I just chose that guy because he was 82 overall. The other one was a 79. I just went off common knowledge. I probably messed up. I don't know. And for the jerseys, I don't know. I didn't really see anything I liked. I just kept all of it. So these are the packs I got with the Ultimate Edition. So I'm just opening them right now. I have no idea what they're like. <laughs> I have no idea of the contents or anything. And out of all these players, I don't know anyone. I'm not even kidding. I don't know how to pronounce their name. I never seen them in real life. I don't know. So as you can see, I'm just looking at their names. Look, see, trying to see who looks the coolest, who has the coolest picture. Uh, trying to look at their stats, even though it looks pretty similar. So I try to look at the biography. Maybe something will inspire me there. <laughs> I don't know. I had no idea. I'm not even kidding. So at the end of the day, I think I chose this guy because he was from France. And like I said, I was trying to build a French squad to get the most chemistry. I was looking at their stories. 
seeing who was worth a shot on my squad. I was looking at all of their stats. They look pretty similar to be honest. So at the end of the day, I chose the guy from France. I'm not pronouncing their name because I know I'm going to mess it up and you guys, will, you guys will roast me on it. So I'm going to keep this guy. And I think I have one or two more packs. And here we go. Pack number one. They're going to give me the cinematic. I'm not skipping it since it's my first time. You know, I want to enjoy the experience. They're giving me special effects and everything. LB. I don't even know what LB stands for. I don't know any of these positions. I only know goalkeeper, GK. All the rest I have no idea what it means. I don't even know if this guy's good. LB. All I know is I gotta learn my countries because uh, <laughs> these guys play from all over the world. I gotta learn my European countries, uh, <laughs> all the countries in general. This is like a, a geography lesson playing this game. Because when you play basketball, most players are from the States. <laughs> Obviously, you got players from Europe, but most of them are from the States or Canada. But compared to this game here, everyone's from all over the place. So I gotta learn. This is a good geography lesson. I got an 84 ST. I don't know what SD stands for. I don't know that country. Sorry about that. Manzukic. That's probably how you say it. I remember watching one game during FIFA and the announcer was saying his name. So I remember that guy's name. And after getting all these cards, I was trying to swap. I was getting lost again. I felt like I was trying to solve the Rubik's Cube or trying to get the Exodia puzzle for Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know. My brain was hurting. This is like a math lesson. I don't know. I was trying to solve a puzzle or something, but I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know the players I'm putting. I don't know the positions. I know nothing. <laughs> so uh, this is the final squad after, you know, swapping a lot of things around. I probably messed up my team super bad. Just let me know in the comment section if you guys enjoyed this video. This is the first video of the series. So if this video does well, I'm definitely going to continue. You guys can keep laughing at me while I learn this game. So if you guys enjoyed it, drop a comment. Very appreciated since it's the first one. Drop a like. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.